Now to a boy some consider a modern-day miracle. Walking into his first grade classroom at Tulare Christian School is an incredible milestone for six-year-old Chase Borez. Last spring, he survived a deadly car crash that took the life of his aunt. While things didn't look too well for Chase, the team at the Valley's only burn and level one trauma center took over and made a difference. Darian and Summer Borez received a horrifying call last April that their son was in a deadly car accident with his aunt. When the accident first happened, they were flying him to be an organ donor. Chase had been ejected from the vehicle. He was being treated at then University Medical Center for trauma to the head and a broken ankle. Chase came into the burn unit, um, which we take the pediatric traumas, and um, very sick little boy. He had um, a mandible fracture, um, severe head injury, and um, you know, for us, any pediatric that comes in is just devastating um, when we know it's especially with a head injury. With his family never leaving his side, Chase came out of his coma and began to make progress just in time for the move to the new burn and level one trauma unit at Community Regional Medical Center. We've all been to the hospital or visited people in the hospital. This is different. It's, it was a connection. It wasn't just being at the hospital. I mean, it was like a huge family. It wasn't, I, it's just different. It's different. It's more connected. It's more more intimate. It's not the same just in the hospital getting nurse care. They really cared and you could tell. It was a big focal point for my mom after the accident was to be able to focus on him surviving. So she would get into bed and sing to him and hold him and play games. Yeah. And you had your babies in there, huh? And Chase needed the help of the caring team at Community Regional. He had to learn how to do everything over again. First, he couldn't support his body at all. He would get up on all fours and just fall down, get up on all fours and just fall down. It was just a process, a slow process. I think the staff in the burn unit is a family. I think they work together as a great family. I mean, from Linda, who sits behind the desk and answers the telephone, to the nurses, to the doctors, the whole team, is they're just like one big family. And when this happens to you and your family, you become a member of theirs. A family of community doctors, nurses, staff, and others that Chase may not remember, but his parents do. We tell Chase stories about his nurses, and the first nurse that got Chase to chuckle was Kim, and it was really funny. Hearing him chuckle was, uh, it was worth everything in the world. Chase came home for his first visit on Mother's Day, and today attends first grade at Tulare Christian School. He's absolutely a miracle. That's the only word that I can come up for to, to explain it. I feel like the people that that helped him and it was just all part of a bigger plan and they did such a great job and they use their gifts every day and they save they save people every day it's just odd when it's your son or it's your child chase who was right-handed before the accident is learning to read and write all over again however this time he's holding the crayon with his left hand he loves to ride his bike he likes to chase the goats he what else he likes to swim. climb things he loves to swim they sit in the spa every night Really a funny kid. He was a joy to take care of. Um, uh, I'm glad that his outcome was as positive as it is and continues to be. I don't take anything for granted anymore because it just, in the blink of an eye, it can be gone. You go through life thinking you need all this stuff and it's not important. Family's what's important. And, and their health. Yeah. How true. While Chase continues to receive physical therapy, he inspires and amazes us with his strength and courage. For more on this, visit our website at medwatchtoday.com.